Hey y'all, I hope you guys are having a great summer. It is already July and I just do not know where the summer is running to. Anyways, um, in this particular video, you know, I didn't have any particular style in mind. I was going to wash my hair and I ended up saying that I will do it tomorrow but i needed to take the braids out i took out the very small corners that i had which were underneath the wig that i was wearing for the last two weeks um just to keep it like you know flat it was time for that to come out so i did that last night and then now and like as i took them out i basically just put them into medium braids um like single braids so that the detangling process today would be much easier um, especially as I was planning for wash day, but the fro that came out after this was actually really cute. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. And I didn't plan on going anywhere today anyway. Still ended up staying inside, but I rocked the fro just for a little bit because why not? But and the truth of the matter is I actually tried to start after this and it did not go as planned. So I just wrapped it up. But yeah, I was just in the house and I do plan on washing it tomorrow. Um, but y'all, this Revlon brush is everything. I used to be on here making YouTube videos about the easy detangler brush and it's still good. But this by, well not by far, but this is still better in my opinion. Um... I'm not going to say by far because the Easy Detangler brush is still pretty good, but this Revlon paddle brush is really where it's at. And I feel like I lose the least amount of hair using it. I get little resistance when combing through and I'm able to run my fingers through it. Like it's just like once I comb it through, it's just amazing. There is something special about a pad paddle, br oh, paddle brush. Well, paddle brush. I don't even really think it has anything to do with the fact that it's a Revlon brush. I just think paddle brushes for the win. And I guess the Easy Detangler brush kind of has the same concept with all the little, you know, teeth per se. But, like, it's not steady. Um, which does carry some of the benefits because it's not going to just rip through your hair. It kind of has a bend motion since it does... Um, it's flexible, I guess, but no, the paddle brush is everything. I think I've honestly, I've tried the Easy Detangler brush for a while. I've tried this one for a couple of times and not a couple of times. I used to use it before too, but this takes the first place. If you guys have a better brush out there, let me know. But if y'all looking for, to, to seek and to minimize hair loss while detangling, get you a paddle brush. And I can't speak for all. I don't see why they would be very like very different but the revlon brush is where it's at so as you can see my hair is um very fine my hair is very fine and you can tell by how small the braids are the single braids but when i have a fro it's a bunch likewise when i have my hair straightened like you know pressed flat ironed whatever it looks you know, like, it's not voluminous at all. Um, and I've talked briefly about this in previous videos. But yeah, I just have a full head of fine hair. And that's the best way to describe it. What I'm working on is um, getting certain areas of my ear, hair sorry, to fill, to get longer so that it, it, it gives a more fuller look. So like edges yes i want it to grow so kind of like right above my ear towards the front hairline and then those top corners by my forehead on each side i need those to fill in and the ones and the hairline right above my ear like in that area it's a bit thin um also like the last time i had my hair flat ironed got a press and curl um you can tell from the back you can kind of see like spaces through a little bit um and that's due to not all of the hair strands meeting at the same point at the end so some are meeting higher and some are still coming down long which gives it a thinner appearance overall so yeah i think my hair has definitely grown though since last time i straightened it which was in uh, i want to say hmm 
I want to say, I want to say February or January, maybe. You know, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I know I had a weave. And I honestly can't even remember who did the weave for me. But I know I had a weave done. And um, so maybe I did that instead of getting it pressed. I feel like I got my hair pressed twice. But um, I, 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 right now I'm tripping. So I definitely got my hair pressed in December. Loved it. And then I did. I had. I know I wore a weave in February for sure. Um, because I could think of a very specific picture when I went to R and B only in February, and that was so fun. It was cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was coming out the back. Coming out the back. Um, and what I try to do when it's very tangled, I would start from the bottom and kind of like pick pick at it before actually combing through it and that kind of loosens any tangled areas before actually combing the brush through or brushing the brush through right um what i do love about the the honey leave-in conditioner by camille rose is not only well a couple things so one the soft factor I love the softness it provides and the shine factor. It provides a really nice shine. Um, I don't have any gel or anything like that in my hair, but I could just imagine if I were to now put gel on top of this, even without it, you know, just to lay it down. But I know like the like my edges won't lay down um, because they're they're short um but it just it's just really soft nice sheen is really really nice i think everybody who's natural needs to try it at least once because you guys will fall in love you guys will fall in love with it it's been a really long time since i've actually given so much attention to my hair like my natural hair that is and i love it when i have time for it and i've actually regrown if that's a thing, patience for taking care of my natural hair again. And I feel like the benefits are showing. They're definitely showing. And I love that for me. I did a self trim about three weeks ago. And this was like um, around the time when I used, I blow dried my own hair on like a cool setting. Similar um, setup like this. I think it's Revlon as well. And it's like a paddle brush. But it's attached, it's a blow dryer, all in one. And um, yeah, it was it was a great outcome. I recorded it. I haven't uploaded it yet. I'm trying to remember if I did that on my phone. I think I did. So I need to review those, um, those that video. And so I could put that up here as well. Hopefully I got everything from start to finish. I feel like I may have had some gaps, but I'm going to go look at, take a look at it and get to that sometime. Um this week having done the trim it was like a dust thing really you know myself that day which was you know earlier last month in the beginning of last month that has um definitely helped in you know my hair not getting so tangled so yeah I want to give a lot of credit to the brush and I want to give a lot of credit to my patients but part of it does go into the dusting that I did four weeks ago for sure oh yeah shout out to the leave-in conditioner too if you're still watching this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed already i subscribe to you know different hair channels some of which i may share the same type of hair or not at all and i still benefit from their pages from their hairstyles from their products so even if you don't share my hair texture or hair you know density or whatever i hope it's still helpful to you and i hope you you know you enjoy it so this is the outcome this is what my little fine fro that still needs shaping looks like um but i liked it i liked it i'm just combing out that back part a little bit little pull pull here tuck tuck there you know fluff fluff how's it looking y'all how's it looking it's the back. It's the back that I can't see. Yep, that back needs some work still for sure. 
for sure. But overall, as you can see, I'm smiling. I like it. What y'all think? It probably needs some shaping, but I have not seen my hair like this in a fro in so long. But that's all. That's it for today. Just a fro. Bye.